असलम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम गोइंग टू टेक योर क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर फोर्थ ई वी एस फर्स्ट द चैप्टर नेम इज इन्वायरमेंटल बैलेंस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वॉट्स द सोल्यूशन वी हैव टू रिमूव इंसेक्ट्स फ्राम द ग्रेन विदाउट यूजिंग इंसेक्टिसाइड आंसर सम प्लांट्स लाइक नीम और देर एक्सट्रैक्ट रिपेल इंसेक्ट्स दैट इज इंसेक्ट रन अवे फ्राम दिस सब्सटेंस Hence, if we place the dried leaf of the neem, the grain will be freed from the insect as they will go away. Which means the leaves of the neem or the extract of the neem can help to remove the insect from the grains. Second option. Similarly, it is by applying canola oil to the grain, we can remove the insect as canola oil is also an insect repellent. Which means the two things first one is neem and second one is canola oil can remove the insect from the grain question number 2 use your brain power make up a food chain some uh, living things are given here you have to sequence it into a food chain frog kite worm snake and grass answer first one is grass grass were eaten by worms worms were eaten by frog and frogs were eaten by snake snakes were eaten by kite kite is a type of bird question number third answer the following questions in which first one is what is the food chain give an example of it answer first point in nature plants are food for one small animal this is smaller animal is the food for the larger animal which in turn is a food for the another larger animal which means the plants or a grass were eaten by the small animals like a rabbit or a deer which can survive on the plants for their food and these smaller animals were eaten by the larger animals like lion tiger thus we see that one living thing is connected to another living things for their food and each component of living thing is the food for the next one which means a one living thing or a one living organisms are interconnected on the other which means one is dependent on the other living things for their food which means they are interconnected with each other such biological chain is called as a food chain example plants eaten by grasshopper grasshopper eaten by frog frog were eaten by snake and snake were eaten by kite question number 2 how is the balance in the environmental environment maintain how the balance maintain in the environment answer plants use substance in the soil for their growth when the plants and animals die the microorganisms decompose them and these added to the substance goes back to the soil once again which means the plant use their substance which are present in the soil with the help of roots like minerals and water and if these plants and animals were die so the microorganisms organisms which are already present in the soil can decompose or break down the dead body which may be a plant which may be a animal and the these decomposed material were again added to the soil which helps for the fertilization or the for, for increasing the fertility of the soil one second similarly the water cycle maintain a continuous supply of water for all living things as we see before that water cycle is continuously going on in our environment which is the main source of water for the living things living things take in oxygen give out carbon dioxide while breathing living things like animals or like human beings can take oxygen and give out carbon dioxide while breathing into the air and the plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen by preparing their food thus oxygen gets added to the 
air this oxygen is again taken by the living things like animal and human beings and this cycle is goes on in our environment when such interactions and cycles goes on uninterrupted this cycles goes on continuously without any interruption continuously this help in maintaining the food chain thus to this environmental balance is maintained because of these cycles going on in our environment the environmental balance is maintained question number 4 what substance in the soil are useful for the growth of plant answer the plant use substance like water minerals and organic matter for the from the soil for their growth which means all three things first one is water mineral and organic matter these all three things were present in the soil taken by the plant with the help of their roots question number 5 true and false microorganisms form a part for their environment true microorganism is the main part of the environment because they decomposes the dead material second it is necessary to maintain biodiversity yes it is very necessary for us to maintain biodiversity or to maintain the environmental balance true a grasshopper eats bird it is false because bird can eat the grasshopper not the grasshopper eat birds thank you and you have to note down this question and answer in your book